Nothing going on in Fontana, Bill? Uh, it was last Saturday in the statue. <laughs> That's right, Bill. You're you're retired now. I'm retired. And here I am, every home. Yeah, you know, what the hell's going on? You're retired, Bill. You're here every game. I, I love it. Right, Chris? Working harder now than he was before. You know, it's a good sight. I see Bernie, I see Chris, I see Bill, and I see young Dennis oh, Lynn. Really? Young it's Dennis Lynn. Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. What do we got? Tyson Ross. Uh, <coughs> did he get hit in the pitching hand? Yeah. No, he got hit in the glove hand. Glove hand? Yeah, yeah, hit his glove. But it seemed like he was in a little bit of discomfort there. You went out several times. So. Uh, well, I went out that time to see if it was okay based on the on the ball off his hand. I, did, I, I wanted to make sure. I couldn't tell. I thought maybe it might have been off his pitching hand, but he assured me of, it was off his glove hand. So, uh, Bill, the next inning, uh, to be quite honest, uh, Darren mentioned something that when that ball was hit, uh, going after the ball, Tyson tweaked his knee. Okay. Okay. Gets out of the inning comes back in the dugout, goes back out for that eventful sixth. So when Darren mentioned to me that Tyson tweaked his knee, that's when I went out there because, you know, they went, well, first of all, they went, uh, you know, Peralta hit a ground ball in the hole. And I thought that he was taking a little bit of time, and I just wanted to make sure his knee was okay. That's why I went out with Paul, and then he assured me he was fine. And then... Uh, Trumbo hit a ground ball that just eluded Spangy. And then Montero hit a line drive. So, I mean, they hit two ground balls and a line drive. And then he came back and he punched everybody out. So, uh, when he came out of the game, our medical staff looked at him and they told me just briefly that uh, tweaked his knee. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on it. But Right now, nothing seems to be serious, so that's a good thing. So we all sort of exhaled. So, I mean, he continued to pitch. He pitched through the inning with, with no problems. He, you know, he, he struck out the side. But again, uh, he felt a little something. You know, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. You know, probably as all, the, all, the, all these things go, uh, I'll have more information tomorrow. What do you think of the way he did get out of that? Event? Well, you know, again, I think that, you know, we're seeing him grow as a pitcher. We've said that repeatedly all year. And again, you know, a 3-1 game in the sixth inning, his pitch count is building, and he has to make pitches. And, and again, I think it's, a, it's another great test for, you know, a guy at the front of our rotation to get through, get through that inning. And, uh, you know, I felt pretty good about his stuff. He was still throwing the ball hard. He was maybe elevating the ball a little bit. There were some sliders that were a little bit up that inning that their, that their guy swung through. But they still had good action. He was holding his velocity. Uh, so I felt pretty good about, you know, Tyson. Even though the pitch count was, you know, above 110 and getting to 115, that, you know, I thought this, you know, not only was, you know, this was uh, a great learning experience for him, how to get out of a tough inning when his pitch count's high and maybe he's tiring. Uh, but I felt at that point he was our best pitcher, and his stuff was still good. And, uh, you know, I felt good about leaving him, leaving him in there to try to get out of it. So, uh, you know, overall, I thought his, his stuff was good. Uh, again, they, you know, they stressed him a little bit in the first inning. You know, Montero, you know, popped out with guys on first and third. You know, there was a couple easy innings after that. But overall, I thought, again, it was, uh, you know, he's made a lot of starts, a lot of deserving wins. I thought he deserved this one. Based on it, based on how he got himself out of a couple jams, most notably the last one, that was that was really tough clutch pitching. Uh, run in, man on first and third, no outs, three straight strikeouts. Yeah, Spanji had a good day. Uh, you know, I think he'd probably like to have the at bat back against Perez, but. You know, two nice plays. Uh, you know the, you know diving play to his left. You know a good a good play to save a run on a on a slow roller. 
just missed the you know the trumbull ground ball in the sixth. You know that might have turned into a double play. Just missed that one. Tick, uh, tipped off his glove. But I thought he had some good swings. Good swing on the first and second, no outs. Uh, you know, got uh, you know got our runner to third base. That uh, Nciarte ran a ball down. But I thought he had some good swings. Even the strikeout against Perez, he had a good swing on a you know ball that looked up and in from the side. Uh, but he had a good swing at it. But you know he didn't look overwhelmed. He looked uh, calm. I think the I think the guys on the team sort of uh, made him relax a little bit. So it was a Good day in the big leagues. He got a, his first hit. He got two RBIs. He made two nice plays. Good day. And he, uh, I think his parents were here. I think some relatives were here. And then maybe a few people from the 570 were here. I think you might have answered this already, but what did you see when you went to the mound with Ross when he brought the trainer out? Well, uh, the previous inning, Barry, he, on that, on that comebacker right. that he had to react and go make the play. Uh, he sort of tweaked his knee okay. a little bit. So when he came into the dugout, he made a he made a comment to Darren that you know he felt a little something you know with his knee. But so then so Darren relayed that to me in the sixth. And then when you know they went base hit by Peralta, I saw Tyson taking a little bit more time, and I just wanted to make sure that he was okay. And he assured me he was fine. Then he gave up two more hits. Right. And then he punch out the side. Have you ever played to call two or received one from the five seven? I'm trying to think, uh, Bernie. I don't think so. Okay. Have you ever been to the five seven? Probably, or through it in some capacity. That is the uh, what is that area? Is that the, the Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, uh, uh, Susquehanna, uh, Northeastern? Yeah, Lehigh. Lehigh College is up there, isn't it? Is that in the five seven zero? I know that because Joe Madden. Went to Lehigh. No, Joe went to Lafayette. I'm sorry. Joe went to Lafayette. He was a catcher at Lafayette and quarterback, by the way. Joe Madden. How did you know that was the 570 hurry code anyway? Because he tweeted it as soon as he got called up. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a discussion about that yesterday. About him. And, and yeah, about like, him yeah, him. yeah. He gets. Yeah, hey, listen, I love Spanish. He's a good kid. Oh, he's yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, Richie Dower brought him in. Hey, said, "Hey, you're going to big leagues." And then moments later, he tweeted it. And you know, this is one of these things where you know, you know, other it's affect other players. You know, like hey, who, so anyway, we had that discussion. Did you see it on Twitter? I did. No, I did not. I heard about it. I hear about these things, Chris. Do you know how many games Spanchi had played at third base in the minors? No, but I. But again, our our people, uh, you know, Richie. Our evaluators who have seen him said he's fine there. Actually, they thought uh, you know his arm plays better at third. You know it's a little funky arm stroke. It's a little funky, but they said uh, enough arm strength to play third. You know from all plays, the backhand play, the play in the hole, the deep play. The, the you, we saw the we saw the charge and the you know the sidearm flip. So yeah, Richie's good. You know Richie's really good. Seven games. That's a trick question, Bill. Ha, ha, ha.